enough to go to Springfield and get this Senate joint resolution passed where we want to celebrate the 100 year centennial of, of black metropolis. We can prove it began in 1916. We are our first director in 1917. Okay. So that history is in Maywood. That history is in moments. That history, wherever we are as black folks, that history we there. have that history okay. there. And we, I mean, I look at 154th Street and Harvey, it's, 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 and it's got all these great buildings in it, and it's, the commerce is completely dead. It's dead. And we'll get in our cars and drive over to the white community and spend our money with Mr. Charlie. Uh, you get know, disrespected. South Holland. Right, we're right. right. I'm on the ride right over here. We didn't take this rest when we came across 22nd Street. Okay. You can see you saw when, it. when you roll into the white community, you see the commerce. That's right. You go into the black community, you see the commerce is gone. It's mm -hmm. That's right. So it's not rocket science. It can't be accidental. It's, right, it's that not accidental. Not be accidental. It's systemic. And the overarching plan, look at Detroit. The overarching That's plan right. is to remove those migrants who came to the northern city and take back the urban enclaves across this country. Mm -hmm. And for that to happen with a black president in the White House is a total abomination. Mm -hmm. I submit to you that the money is in the pipeline. Don't let them tell you that this president has not delivered. Mm -hmm. He has delivered. The question is to have, to have the local politicians and have the civic leaders went and researched the legislation and found the resources and went after the resources Absolutely. like a mongoose to get the resources we need to redevelop our community.